people's Keishan Prince. Today we're going to talk about the modern day centre back where I want to give you some IQ stuff, training drills and psychological stuff that you need to have in your locker to be able to play in today's modern game. As you know, we're doing the technical, social, mental, physical and also what to do in and out possession and also some drills to help you to get better. Now, number thing about centre backs today is that you're required not only to defend but you need to be able to pass. Passing is probably the most number one attribute in today's modern day centre back that you must be able to do. You must be comfortable <clears throat> in passing and receiving the ball. Van Dyke and Lewis Dunk are actually the two centre backs that actually are the top three in the league in terms of the most passes. And that shows you volume that in the Premier League and the top flight football that you need to be able as a centre back to be passing and receiving the ball is very important you've got to be able to break the lines you've got to be able to do penetrative passes and dribbling these are more or less the moral function of today's modern day centre back defending is not good enough alone that's required you need to now add these penetrative passes and dribbling to your game to be able to be considered to even make it at the top flight today you know back in the day you could be a Martin Keown no disrespect and the Soul Campbells who are really known for just defending even John Terry was with that much of a centre back where he was just more morally used as a bullish uh, centre back but then as he grew older you see new drills of his footwork dribbling he started to get more techie because he realised listen if I want to continue to play in this Chelsea team and be able to play in this modern game I have to elevate my game and he did that so hats off to him so one of the things the technical that you need to be able to have as a centre back is you need to be able to defend obviously you see with Van Dijk in his video which he does really well is that he says that he looks at the player's eyes as opposed to his body which is very different and his body shape you hear the last rule from a lot of people saying about if you have to tackle that's like the last thing you shouldn't need to tackle you should be able to read the game and just basically intercept a block tackling is like the last resort so you need to be able to be comfortable competent in defending as well side and tackle etc next one you need to, be able to do is head off from crosses i'm not talking about the standard headers where you've got to clear the lines i'm talking about headers from crosses which is another one which is very important knowing how to reset to the keeper so for example if the ball comes and you just want to nod it down to the keeper for him to collect the ball that's another skill you've got to learn which is something that you just see the pros do really well and it's useful in terms of just to reset the game number three as well you need to be able to clear the ball clear your lines you know practice clearing the ball into the corners as opposed to just kicking off the pitch you see a long league then man there have so much you know joy of slapping it into rose dead and sometimes you've got to do it but at the modern game we look at that as a turnover and as a loss and a chance for the team to regain possession and come on the counter but not forgetting that your most principled thing as a defender is to defend but you've got to practice hitting into the corners Next one as well is also passes, as I said before. You need to be competent to receive the ball on your back foot, passing with your left foot and the right foot, and dribbling. Very important, you need to be able to dribble. If you can't dribble as a centre back today, then it's going to be very long for you. You need to know how to dribble out of trouble. You need to be able to dribble into space, carry the ball. You know, look at Ben White. Ben White was a centre back and now he's turning into one of the, one of the good right backs for Arsenal right now. Yes, he lacks the pace, but he's able to dribble and carry the ball, which has been very efficient for the team. Next one is physical. You need to be able to have, you need to be strong. Simple as that, you need to be able to be strong. You need to have a strong core. You don't have to be physically big, but you need to have a strong core, very strong legs. You need more or less your legs need to be a powerhouse in order for you to keep the balance and strength. Focus more on your legs and your core. Upper body doesn't have to be too big. There's players that's five foot nine, six foot that's made it at the top flight. Um, so you don't have to be huge to be a centre back, but what you need to have is strong legs to be able to manage, you know, strikers, etc. You need to be able to have quick hits in order for you to power forward, so explosion, so doing stuff like um, power cleans, deadlifts, hip thrusts, etc. are very important to make sure your hips are nice and strong to be able to push off of the back foot. Also, you need to be able to have good lateral ability. That's moving side to side. So you need to have strong obliques and abductors and adductors muscles you see that a lot of people a lot of center backs do pick up a lot of groin injuries because of the fact that you've got to do a lot of lateral movement so those muscle groups need to be very strong 
In terms of mental, you need to be able to read the game. You need to be probably the smartest players on the pitch behind the sentiment <clears throat> because you're going to see the full picture of the game as opposed to a striker, for example. So you need to be able to read the game, read when the, the play is going to happen. You can talk to your centre back and tell them, hey, look, go right, go left, etc. So you need to be able to communicate. That's another thing as well. Communication is key. If you don't like talking, you're going to struggle or probably not make it at the top flight. You need to communicate. You understand? With his hands, with his loud voice, etc. You need to do something. Next one as well, very important, you need to be aggressive. A lot of academy coaches, when I speak to them, one of the things they do say when they go into acquire centre backs is that sometimes the centre backs are very big. I've seen centre backs are big, huge, six three, six four, you know, fourteen years old, powerhouse. But one thing that one coach said to me is that, you know, he lacks aggression. And I sent him another player, same thing, same height, very good ability, lacks aggressive. You need to be aggressive today. You can't be technical and you just not like looking to get stuck in it's not enough now when you're in possession as a center back you need to be able to drive the ball when the space opens up you need to be able to do number two which is break the line and number three you need to have in your locker is disguised passes that could be reversed back inside or out wide because this is very important Saliba, Gabriel, Van Dijk all the center backs you see will always do disguised passes because you need to be able to have that in your locker and if you don't then your good pass is going to get blocked off like when if you watch Newcastle Arsenal game one thing that Dzenko did really well was that he kept on breaking the line because you can go sideways and sideways but it's not enough you've got to be able to break the line in today's game because how well drilled teams are number three or should I say number four is you need to be able to do diagonal passes so if you're playing on the right side you need to be able to do a diagonal pass to the left winger into space over the top you know clip passes etc you need to be able to have that in the, in the game yes it's good to go long when it's on do it okay and you need to be able to have be able to support or do under support to your midfielder so under support means when it's not on can you get into an angle so that the, the, the center mid can play it back to you and then you can play it to another midfielder you understand you need to know when the, the option is on for you to reset and get your body position to receive the ball when it's time to reset the ball do horseshoe passes um out possession as you said as i said before you need to know how to organize the line now in terms of drills okay i recommend if you're going to be a center back today to do 10 yard simple wall passes and do a thousand so you do right foot touch left foot pass left foot touch right foot pass practice then receiving on the outside doing 100 outside right foot pass right foot outside left foot pass left foot that's 100 and then you do in step in step right foot um right foot pass in step left foot left foot pass 100 all the way to a thousand a day for you to get clean and to be efficient in your passes because you're going to make mistakes so is that reps you do 10 reps of passes and you go into a game then i'm telling you then most likely then you're going to do a lot of turnovers if you're not a person that's born with you know great technical ability to do passes you need to be able to uh, do feints as well dribbling through cones you a good drill to do to dribble is just you know get a cone set it at five yards drive through and then have two close cones and you just do in and out and look to pass don't try and do try and you know there's some center backs that you think you could just go through like a ronaldinho know when to release next one as well you need to be able to do a different type of passes when you're receiving the ball to open up your body to play it to your right back if you're playing on the right side of the fence or to your left back if you're playing on the left side of the fence and also another thing which is important which will be hard but you need to find a partner is to practice to do diagonal passes as well diagonal passes are very important because that is going to be able to be a locker that teams will know okay we've got to press him early if you don't press him so then you're going to watch this if, you, if you're known for a person to do diagonal passes as a center back then the team will need to press you and then what will happen is then they will commit and then space opens up for you to play inside so this is why you need to know how to do you also need to know how to react having good reaction drills to be able to turn um press so this reaction drill i used to do with switch on is there'll be cut cones around it whatever colors it'll go to i'll go run to that cone go back its position if it says blue if it says up i'll go back diagonal and just reaction do it at 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 hundreds of a second so it's nice and sharp like game. 